Okay, so uh, let's get on to the next uh, the next part I'm going to show you. Uh, the next part I'm going to show you is terrain, uh, workable, usable terrain. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about it, and uh, I think that the easiest way for me to answer a lot of those questions is just to show you in this tutorial how to make uh, walkable, uh, usable terrain. So what you do is you create uh, your playing field, and you, let's say you want to take your playing field, like the area in between our two houses here, and you want to make that a little hilly area or whatever. You want to make hills or whatnot. So what you do is, from the top-down view, uh, you come up here, you select the object, uh, your your playing field, your floor, what you want to become terrain. You come up here to Patch, Simple Terrain Patch. And then uh, come down here and you want to make it as many width as, as 16 width by uh, 16 height that way you get as many points as possible to create your uh, your terrain and uh, when you click OK it's going to like it's, as you saw right there it made it at the base so you need to choose a texture um, I always use ch underscore grass underscore 2 because it's not a decal and it works just fine for when you're making uh, terrain so uh, in order to edit terrain, uh, it's very, very easy. Um, I'm just going to go here to view and uh, hide everything else. That way I don't touch anything else, and that way nothing else is in my view. I have what I need to work on selected, and then I hide everything else by hitting view, uh, hide unselected. Um, so what I need to do is I need to make this little hilly area and put some hills and divots in here and uh, some bumps and stuff like that so you hit Y to bring up the advanced patch editing options and you can move it to wherever you need it to be out of the way or whatever um, but what you're gonna need to do is like let's say if you wanted to make hills uh, or anything like that you need to adjust the outer radius and the inner radius to the size that you want you can have huge, like huge types of radiuses, or you can have very, very, very small. 16 by 32 is the smallest you can go. It's very, very tiny measurements. You can only work on like one dot at a time. As you can see, it it only works with one edge at a time of a triangle. Um, and uh, you can't have like here it says 16 by 32. You can't have 32 by 32. It doesn't work. You can't have the inner radius be the same size as the outer radius. It doesn't work that way. Uh, and then from there, uh, you have to work on the amplitude of how fast uh, you want it to change your, ter your terrain. So you need to hold down Alt and left click. That uh, paints the height of the object. Um, and if you hold down Alt and left click, that's what changes the uh, depth of the object. So it lowers the ground and uh, left click adjusts the height and brings it up so that now you've created yourself some terrain uh, some pretty decent terrain and all you've had to do is just you know modify a couple things um, making terrain work with other uh, with other pieces of terrain is actually very very difficult you need to hit the smooth and uh, smooth out those edges uh, so that they're not rigid and so that uh, they are nice and smooth around and uh, stuff like that way we people can actually walk on your terrain and that's always a good thing you know when people can walk around on your terrain because it actually looks more real than just you know a bunch of jagged edges and stuff like that and uh from there that's pretty much it when it comes to using terrain really i mean there's really not much more than that you show you hidden and look at that you've got yourself some pretty decent terrain and of course you want to make sure that your terrain can uh can be usable because like here as you can see you got a gap there uh, you want to level that up to any uh, buildings that you have any doorways and stuff that you have you would want to level that out and smoothen that out and bring it up a little bit but uh, that's how you create terrain and uh, that's how it works in game okay and then when you run it in game this is just a, a map I'm creating on right now um, uh, when you're working with terrain, if you use the same texture I use, which is the ch underscore uh, grass underscore zero two, uh, this is actually what it's going to look like. It's going to look like pretty nice uh, bumps in the terrain, actual hills and stuff like that. This is what it's going to look like in game. It's going to look pretty uh, pretty well, and actually people are actually really like it when you use terrain.